Hello, hello, my earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I am going to do a, a five card spread for this new moon in Leo. Um, new moons are when we set our intentions and manifest our dreams. Okay, so let's dive in. So this first card is going to be what is in store for you? What is your energy? What do you need to be open to? Something that is wanting to manifest, and this could be something that you're aware of or something you're not, and advice or how to focus your intention to manifest your dreams, okay? All right, guys, what is in store for you? Your commitment is being tested. This could be in a relationship. This could be your commitment to anything you have going on with yourself, your commitment to heal, your commitment to, um, you know, reciprocity in a relationship, I anything that you have going on. Um, and you guys are individually going to know, you know, how this resonates for you specifically more than I will. But, um, you know, the, the universe is testing you right now. So you've got some energy coming through um, that may very well be uncomfortable or, or some changes coming in. What's your energy? Yeah. Look at the bigger picture. So don't focus on, you know, kind of zoom out. All right. And, and see what's going on around you and how this affects not only you, but others and how it affects your long term situation. Okay. And let go of control issues and specific expectations and understand that when you manifest for your higher good, it's going to be the right thing. Okay, so you may very well have some change coming in, some some things that may feel uncomfortable because change is uncomfortable. Okay, so what do you need to be open to? Yeah, work through your fears, guys. Okay, so you have some change happening, some big change. Um, you know, the universe wants you to feel your feelings, work through it, learn your lessons, um, forgive yourself and others. Okay, not not just not just. You know, forgiveness is always a two-way street. Um, and work through those feelings, those fears, okay? And ultimately, release them. You know, let it go because it it's not going to serve you to hang on to them forever. Um, but the universe is calling your attention to something that needs to be changed, okay? So something that wants to manifest. And again, this could be something that you're aware of or not. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay, so... Um... You, there, there, whatever is going on right now, you have some kind of conflict in your life, some kind of, some kind of change, some kind of chaos, something going on that's tumultuous, that's hard, that's difficult. Okay, that's bringing up a lot of of fear, anxiety, worry, stress, that kind of thing. Um, you're gonna get through it. I mean, we always get through it, but um, now is really the time to kind of pan out, see how this affects your life. And really figure out what it is that you need to work on because you are being tested. This is a cycle, okay? So your commitment is being tested and your cycle is that, you know, you, or the this kind of round and round pullbacks, you can see the whole thing and then work through it. Work through it just one step at a time and you'll come to a resolution. So this is going to be your advice or how to focus your attention to manifest. Believe in the impossible. So the universe is, is telling you that whatever this issue is, this, this conflict, whatever it is, it, it's going to be resolved. And if you let go of your, your specific expectations and your control issues, it can be even better than you thought it could be. Okay. Because the universe always has our higher good in mind. Okay. So if you begin manifesting for your higher good and, and literally without specific expectations and control issues, um, you will be so surprised at the amazing things that can come to you, especially from a conflict. You know, that's when um, <laughs> and this just kind of fell out for you. So I'm going to going to read it. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together into intuitive hits, soul tribe. So the universe it, as a collective at your soul tribe is really working on whatever this issue is for you on kind of allowing you to see what's going on and how it affects you and what you need to do to resolve it. And even better things are coming than you thought possible, okay? This says it's all coming together. Believe in the impossible. A personal issue reaches resolution. Work through your fears, okay? So, so understand that you're going through, you're being tested. You need to see how this affects you and others around you. Pull back, 
okay? Work through those fears. Feel your feelings. Go through each step of this journey. Understand that you're going to come to a resolution and then it can be even better than you thought because the universe is on your side, okay? That is truly beautiful energy, guys. I I love these readings. Um, I want you guys all to really... um, you know, set your intentions and believe in the universe and, you know, let go of those control issues. I work on that every day, every single day. And I know that as as earth signs, you guys can be a little stubborn. Um, I'm a Leo. I am very stubborn. You guys really just anchor down. So unclench, okay, and pull back and kind of pan out, zoom out so you can see the bigger picture. Okay, because you do have something truly, truly amazing coming in, something you never thought possible. All right. That is what I have for you guys. I love this energy for you. It's truly, truly beautiful. If you want a personalized reading, I am doing um, new moon readings um, for twenty dollars right now. Um, It will be similar to this, although obviously more personalized. Pull some more cards in, see what's up. Um. So hit me up at my queen of wands 1974 at gmail.com if you would like to book one of those. And in the meantime, I am sending tons and tons of love and healing light to you.